Hi, Timothy Carlson here, and we're continuing the action figure reviews today. Going to be going back into the Star Wars franchise today. Star Wars has really been getting a jump in popularity again with the Netflix TV series. Right now we're in the middle of the Book of Boba Fett, and the Obi-Wan Kenobi series is set to air later this year. My girlfriend actually found this used in a shop here in town. This is a figure of Finn as he appeared in The Force Awakens. This is a Disney Store figure, an exclusive that was released in conjunction with... Uh, yeah, it says on here from the new film, Star Wars The Force Awakens, so this would have been like late 2015, early 2016. Here's a look at the figure, you know, side of the box, other side, the top, the bottom. And this is a die-cast figure, so it's actually made out of metal rather than the usual plastic and rubber that you find on figures. So let's open up Finn here and see how he looks. The MSRP for this, according to the back, is $26.95. So we'll see if he's worth that amount. Again, my girlfriend found him on clearance in a store here in town, so we didn't pay nearly that much. But let's get him out of here and see how, see how he fares. Okay, first of all, look at the accessories. He does come with this blaster rifle, so... Glad to see he's not devoid of accessories. At the very bottom of the package, we have a display stand. This actually looks pretty cool. It's got the Star Wars logo plus a peg that you can put the figure on. Here's the back. It's got the copyright info and so forth. So now let's take a look at Finn himself. Now, like I said, this is a die-cast figure. It's made out of metal, so he's actually pretty heavy. You can't really tell that in this video, but... Here's the front, here's the back. Articulation is pretty similar to more conventional figures. You know, his head can rotate left to right, move that up to down. Ball joint arms here, elbows are articulated. Wrists can rotate, those are slightly open because again, he comes with the blaster. And then you, know, you can kind of move his jacket. That's not fully removable because the jacket sleeves are part of the figure there. And then down here you got ball joint legs, articulated knees. And then the feet have you know, a little bit of articulation, not a whole wide range there. And then his uh, right foot has a hole in the bottom for the display stand. Now, one thing I'm not really huge on right from the get-go, there's a lot of screws visible on the figure. If you're just displaying it from the front, those aren't really going to be noticeable, but, like, if you're going to be moving the figure around, those are kind of uh, an annoying distraction when it comes to showing off your figure. The more conventional figures that are made out of, like, plastic and rubber never have to deal with that, typically. Now we'll try out this blaster rifle in his hand. That actually fits in there, not, not too bad. And I'll also try putting it in his other hand, too. This is the only accessory he comes with, unless you count the display stand. And that can actually... And that actually fits in there, too. Might want to experiment with both hands to see what works best. Now we got a display stand here, so we'll take that... Uh, hole in his foot and putting him on the peg. And you might have to kind of experiment to see what works best with him. I mean, I worked around with the stand and the figure for a little while, and uh, because of the weight of the figure, sometimes he falls over, and uh, you don't really want him falling out of sensitive surfaces, because this is a pretty hard metal die-cast figure. It, it doesn't look half bad, aside from the screws and the Display stand is nice, although I wish maybe that had a few more little pegs for the figure and maybe had a hole in his other foot as well so you can experiment a little more. There he is right there. Got him on the stand. But again, you know, experiment with this and see what works best if you get the figure. It's a decent looking figure, but I don't think it's worth the price that's being asked. Seeing as how Disney is closing all the Disney stores, I don't think they're going to be readily available anymore. But if you can find this in a used toy store at a bargain price, you might as well pick it up. It's not half bad. Are you a fan of Star Wars? Have you picked up any of these die-cast figures yet? This was my first one, and 
I think it's decent overall, though not one of my favorite Star Wars figures. Comment down below and let me know what you think. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel for more content because I'm always posting new videos. And make sure you give this one a like if you found it helpful. I'm Taylor T. Carlson. See you next time.